So now that the car is placed at the mouth of the tunnel, I'm gonna go to my top view, press auto key, go to frame 100, which is the end. And I'm gonna place the car at the other side. I'm also gonna check its rotation, so I'll zoom over. And with the rotate tool, I'll make sure that it's properly rotated. All right, I'll go to frame 50 now, which is halfway. I put it in the, all right, so here I selected the tunnel by mistake. I undid my selection, but to lock the selection over the car, you can press the space bar and now you can only select the car. All right, so I'll zoom over and I'll check rotate and I'll fix the orientation of the car. All right, so far it goes in a straight line. So I'm gonna go to frame 25 now and place the car inside the tunnel and also fix its orientation. And I'll do the same at the other side, which is 75. Place the car in, right click, rotate, fix the orientation. Let's see what we have now. All right, the car goes in a curve, but I need to see that curve before I commit to my animation. So I'm gonna select the car and I'm gonna go to my motion panel and check trajectories. So that will show me the trajectory of the car. All right, so here I'm going in a nice curve. Now let's say that at frame 40, I wanna curve this a bit inwards. I can go like this. At all times, I should see that I have a very nice curve here. Otherwise I have to fix it. All right, I'll keep going. And right about here, I have a straight line. So I'm gonna just nudge the car so that I have a nice curve. And now my curve fits perfectly with the rest with the tunnel that is. So I'm gonna go to modify now and unlock the selection. And from the perspective view, I'll zoom out, press F3, and see the motion of the car, which should be very smooth. All right, so now that I have the car properly animated, I need to create a camera and follow the car inside the tunnel. For that, I'm gonna go to my top view, and I'm gonna create a <coughs> camera, which is a target camera. And I need this camera to look at the car at all times. So I'm gonna select the um, target of the camera without auto key on, and I'm gonna link it to the car. So I'll select it, drag and release over the car, which means that now the target will always look at the car. I'm gonna now grab To create a camera that follows the car in, I'm gonna go to my front view, and here I'm gonna create a free camera. So I'm gonna go to cameras, free, and I'll create a camera like this. Now this camera should be placed right behind the car. So this is done from the top view, and I'm also gonna rotate the camera to see the car properly. Now I need to see what the camera is seeing, so I'm gonna press C in my perspective view, so if I move the camera now, I'm gonna see that the view changes. So now I'm gonna be animating the camera following the car. I'll press auto key and I'll go to frame 20 now. And I'll move the camera in, but I also need to fix its orientation so that it looks at the car. So right click, rotate, and there. If I wanted to get closer, I just move the camera like so. So if I scrub the time now, this is what I get. I'll go to frame 40 and I'm gonna get really close to the car. So I'll just move the camera and I'll also change its orientation so that it sees the car. I'll zoom over and I'll just move the camera closer. All right, at frame 60, the car gets further away. So I'll just bring the camera closer and fix its orientation. All right, at frame 80, the, gar the car is getting even further away. So the camera is staying behind. And at frame 100, it's far off. So I just move it a little bit and rotate it just so that we see the car running away. All right, so now if I play the animation, I'm gonna see the result of my work. If 
I pressed F4 in the camera view I'm gonna see the wireframe displayed on top of the solid so this is how it animate a car driving inside a tunnel and having a camera follow it through <laughs>